Morning tubers. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit went on over the weekend, eh? Quite a lot of people have put stuff up. Um, let's see, where should we start? Marcel St. Jean. Yeah, I got it right, buddy. Thanks for the uh, PM. Uh, the way you wrote it, yeah, I can understand that now. Marcel St. Jean. Well, great video, mate. Um, I love the speed it up part with the music in your romping video. Absolutely brilliant like that. I like the music as well. That's good music. You're lucky you've got that to use, yeah? That's pretty good. Um, Rex 4x4, he put up uh, uh, an old one of his. Now, I've seen that before, but you've recut that, haven't you? You recut that and you put different music, well, Adam's music with it, because I think I've seen that one a long time ago. Uh, Mega Crazy Hillbilly. Well, yeah, you're having a bit of trouble with that MacBook, eh? Um, listen to what Adam said. He's probably right. Uh, Bobby's girlfriend, well, one of Bobby's girlfriends, um, Brittany, she uh, she had a lot of trouble with her MacBook, and it was the same sort of thing. It wasn't transferring some of the files over, and it just gammed it all up. So he could be dead right there. Probably is. Well, you know he probably is. Um, Smash TV Canada. Uh, nice score on the cameras, mate. God, I'd like one of those cameras. I really would big and bulky, not very good for uh, vlogging and that, but wow, could you do some nice work with that, that's why your stuff looks so good, yeah, you're lucky, very lucky, I'm using uh, a Canon HD Vixia, I uh, don't know which number it is, it's the top of the range one, it's pretty good with a great big wide angle lens, that's why you get this massive view, yeah, uh, I'm only about, what am I, three foot away from it I suppose, uh, yeah, the Canons are nice cameras, who else have we got? Mark Freeman, you said uh, worst track you've ever been on. Was that Go for Dunes again? If it was, it's always always like that, and it. I've heard it's not not good. It's a bit of a bike killer, isn't it? It reminds me um, back in the day when I was back in England, and we used to go to Western Supermare and do the beach race. Uh, I think it was in November. Horrible time, lots of rain and sleet and that off of the sea and everything. And they had a great big track there. I've couple of mile round, great big killer heels in it and everything and it was a three hour like enduro uh, over three days, three different races and that and the final on the Sunday, bike killer, absolute bike killer, that sand just eats them away, they look nice and shiny when you finish the race and you get them home and they're rusty as sin and you've got to replace everything, yeah it reminded me of that. Um, Redneck Rickham, another classic eh, absolute classic, that's how you did it then eh, that was great. Yeah, getting back to your old stuff, mate. Nice to see that. Really nice to see that. Um, vlogging life. Oh dear, what we're going to say about that one, eh? Yeah, you probably will get some comments, mate. We've always joked, haven't we, eh? About taking the camera in the toilet, eh? And having a big one. But yeah, you finally did, eh? You broke down and did it. Yeah, but you're the first one to show them all. Anyhow, there you go. Enough said about that. Um, that's nearly it. Oh, what else? Oh, uh, you dizzy, nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, you got my attention, mate. I went and had a look. You got some nice bikes on there. Nice, nice bikes you're doing up on that. Uh, it was good. You did some nice work on that. Um, that snow one. Yeah, that was quite funny. If only one of them cars had ran into the other one, you might have had yourself a viral video there. You never know. But yeah, that's quite good. Go and check that guy out. Um, Lots of other video responses sent. I won't go through them all. They're from people you've seen before, but they're in the last video. So go check them out if you want to. Some good stuff there. Um, what am I going to do today? don't know. I've been doing this for quite a, quite a while this morning. I've got to go fix a gate. Got to go and do that. I said I'd do that. So I think I've got to shave it down. I don't know. It keeps sticking. Maybe I can move the hinge over. Who knows? Going to go and see about that. Don't know if I'm going to go back out to Joe's today and see if I can get that car going, see how much time I've got. Um, also, uh, the truck seems to be running better. I've got to go down and see my mechanic guy though, because the front end needs sorting out again. I think it's all them trips up and down the farm, up and down that laneway to the trailer over the summer, has knocked the shit out of the front of that again. Uh, like you've all been commenting, yeah, I've definitely got a wheel bearing at the front end makes some noise, so maybe you can repack that or Put another bearing in it, I hope, because I know that those on there, those discs come with the back end of the 
the bearing already pressed into them. Hope that's not knackered because they're good discs on there. They were actually motocraft ones and they're still good. Um, but it's like all the other things underneath, all those swivel joint weird things. Um, I know he put all uh, Moog parts on there, so they're lifetime guarantees. I've only got to pay for them to replace them. But it definitely needs doing before that snow comes. Don't want to let me down in the snow. Maybe get some new wipers for it. I don't know, check the other fluids. Anyhow, that's enough of that. I've got to go and get going, so I'll take you with me and let's see what we get up to, eh? Well, here we are. Let me show you the gate. Look, it's off. Now, I don't quite know what to say about it. But the guy put a deck in there, it's too high, as you can see. And he cut the bottom off the gate. And we've had nine days of rain, didn't we? And it all swelled up, so it was rubbing on the post. And he got fed up with it, so he took it off. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe move it over a little bit and I'm going to go and look at it and see. Well, there you go. Gate's fixed. Look at that. <laughs> what a fucking mess, though, eh? That's what happens when you put a deck in that's too high, look. Chop bottom of the gate off. What a mess. Oh well, that's fixed. That's got to be an easy 50 bucks, isn't it? Nice one. First thing in the morning. Right, don't know what I'm going to do now, but you're coming with me. Let's go. I was going to go and pick up the hillbilly, the mega crazy hillbilly, and go and have a look at that car over at Joe's, see if we can get it started, but it's got too late now. It's like half, oh, wow, it's two o'clock two o'clock now a little bit too late so what I'm gonna do instead I'm gonna go into Princess Autos and get myself some new wiper blades for this bloody thing and get some of that uh, windscreen fluid I want to get the minus 40 degree one that's got the icebreaker in it yeah stick that in it so we're ready because I think we're gonna get snow soon I really do hope not but it looks like it's gonna come so I'll do that and then I'm gonna go out to Todd who's my mechanic, I used to know him from uh, Sterling, he's got himself a great workshop, really good mechanic. I'm going to go and see him and uh, see if I can get this truck booked in to get all that front end sorted out like I said. Uh, it shouldn't cost me that much because it was all guaranteed. So, anyhow, that's what I want to do, where's the parking spot? So let's go and see if Princess Auto's got any wiper blades cheap. Right, I'll show you when I come back out. Well, that Princess Autos is a great little store. I've just got two of these, you can see them. Clear view. They're like, well, it says premium, but who the frick knows, eh? But they're like winter ones, yeah? They've got the covers on them and that. They've got the metal frames in them. I'm not supposed, they're supposed to be really good, anyhow. I've got two of those. I've got myself a wire brush. A little handy dandy wire brush there. Because I've got some grease, a little bit of grease. And I've got to do my battery. My battery terminal's all frosted up and everybody keeps going on about it and Dave's been giving me shit as well. So I've got to do that before the winter comes. Uh, didn't get any uh, fluid in there for the washer bottle because they haven't got the good stuff. They haven't got the stuff that's got like the ice breaker in it. It's only minus 35. I like to put the 40 in there. It's got that ice stuff. So if you're lazy in the morning, you've only got a little bit of ice on the window. You can give it a squirt and it like breaks it down within like a minute, yeah? And it's gone. So anyhow. That wasn't bad, I got that lot, so I got two wiper blades, grease, and a wire brush, cost me 30 bucks. That's bloody cheap, isn't it? Anyhow, let's go off and see Todd now, see what he's got to say. Get the bad news on my truck, maybe. How much it's gonna cost me to do the front end? Oh well, cheaper than buying a new one, isn't it? I'm just going by that place where that auction was the other day, and uh, that got me thinking. I never uh, told you what happened. I was talking to Fat Phil, you know Fat Phil from the farm, I was talking to him on a phone the other day and he was telling me that he went online after that auction had been on and had a look. Now in that video of mine you saw that black ram with the Hemi in it, it was an early model one, but like the new shape and that, with the Hemi, and he said that went for $2,800 that truck. Well, seems cheap doesn't it? But you know you've got to put you've got to put that buyer's package thing on the top of it and then you've got to uh you've got to pay an extra i think it's 25 percent or 20 percent buyer's fee on top of that um and then you don't know what you're getting what you're getting is the thing good has it been looked after is it knackered does it need all the wheel bearings doing are the brakes hanging out of it are the brake lines gone you know 
what are you actually buying? You're, you're buying something like this bloody truck, aren't you? That's all you're getting, really. I mean, and they all had big K's on them, didn't they? 230, 240 K's. So, you know, I don't know. Seems cheap, but is it? Anyhow, I just thought I'd let you know that one. I'm on my way to Todd's now. Well, I went and see my buddy Todd. Wow, has that guy got some nice motors in there. Holy shit, he doesn't like anyone filming around here though, he's very touchy about his cars. God, he's got some nice stuff. Um, yeah, he said, uh, talking about the wheel bearings on my truck, uh, he said they probably just want repacking, they might want repacking, or it might want a couple of wheel bearings, or at least one at the front. Um, but he said you can pop out the back of that wheel bearing housing out of the hub, because mine's only, remember, it's only the two wheel drive at the back, so the front are like on little axe, stub axle things and uh, it's the whole freaking hub with the disc connected to it yeah so hopefully you know I know the discs will be all right but like, like you said he can pull the back of the, the little housing that the the bearing goes into the other side of the bearing yeah because they're like concave I don't know what you call them triangly type ones yeah anyhow he said he can sort that out and he said the knocking might be because we we did the bottom two control arms and we did one of the top ones last time because the other one was fine and he said that's probably what's gone now maybe that and if there's any other parts under there they're all Moog and they're all guaranteed so he said it, you know, it shouldn't cost that much money so uh, maybe next Wednesday or Thursday I'm going to take it over there anyhow there's my phone ringing so I've got to go right then tubes I'm uh, I'm on my way home now. I just been to the store, picked up a couple of tinnies for tonight, and a bottle of wine. Um, Mrs. likes a glass of glass of wine now and again. Um, tonight I've got a surprise for you tonight. For tea, I'm going to make some homemade pizzas in the oven. Um, done it before. They came out really good last time, so hopefully they come out good. Anyhow, I just got to go in one more store because they didn't have no pizza dough, so I'll go and get that, and uh, then we'll get home and I'll show you how to make it. Right then, tubers, I'm home now. I've had a beer, and I'm gonna start getting this uh, homemade pizza together. I'm just, well, actually I've got to de-thaw the uh, pizza dough a little bit. It's starting to go. Uh, so tonight, the missus, the old trouble and strife, it's Hello, not, love. It's not cooking. She's not cooking tonight. She's having a night off, isn't you? So you got yourself a nice glass of wine. I got you, eh? Yeah. You like you like to have a glass of wine every now and yeah. again, don't you? So anyhow, let me take you over here and show you. Um, right, I got some pizza pizza dough. Look, it's starting to starting to go. I'm gonna have to put it in. I got some like sort of lukewarm water. I'm gonna put it in there. Now defrost it really quickly. Um, also. It's what we've got. So first, hang on, let's go back a bit. Blah, 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 blah. First of all, we get this, and what I do is I take like a small piece of it, just a small bit, and roll it out into a ball on here. Uh, use some just some normal flour. Um, I've got a rolling pin over there. And then I roll it out, um, get a tray, and I put some olive oil on it. Just wipe a little bit of olive oil on it so it's not gonna stick. And that helps you see how it's, it's going. Because you, once you put it in the oven, um, you can just flip the edge up and have a look. If the whole thing starts to lift up, it's starting to get done. Once it's a little bit brown underneath, it's ready. Anyhow, what we've got to do, got to cut up the pepperoni. I've got some pepperoni. going to slice all that up. I've got some ham here. I'm going to slice it up into little bits. Okay. We've got the pizza sauce. That's probably the good one. That works nice. And you just put that, take it out with a spoon and spread it on top once you've got your, your dough on your thing. Two bits of, two, two lots of cheese. Now, mozzarella, you want lots of mozzarella, lots of mozzarella on there because it's nice and stringy and nice, but you do want a little bit of cheddar in there, yeah? So I mix the two packets together in a bag and then I've got some pineapple chunks, uh, which I drain out and chop them up. Uh, so you can have the pineapple with the ham with the cheese which is really nice and we can just do pepperoni ones so anyhow I'm gonna dunk this stuff into that lukewarm water and defrost it and get the other I've got two more trays as well 
and I'll make up the pizza bases and then the boy and his girlfriend's going to come down, they're going to put their toppings on, Mrs. can do hers, and we'll get at it. And I'll show you what it's like when it comes out, all right? I'm not going to show you how I make it because I've told you now, but I'll show you when it comes out. It's pretty good, actually. And, I don't know, is it cheap? Well, sort of, but it tastes nice. It's homemade. It's nice to make your own food, isn't it? It always is. So I'll show you in a minute. Hello, guys. So what's going on? Nice, look, you got bedhead. What's going on? That looks like that's a that's an eighties hairstyle, look. You look like you look a little bit like Livia Newton John there, look. You really do. Okay. So So Ryan, Ryan, I'm making pizzas. What do you want on your pizza? So we're gonna make listen. I'm gonna make two pizzas for you two. I'm gonna make one one pepperoni, right? Yeah. And one, uh, like, what do they call it? Margarita? It's got the Mar pineapple. pineapple. Like Italian pizza. It's got pineapple and ham. Um, a margarita pizza. Uh, That'd be Hawaiian. absolutely. Is that a margarita? It's Hawaiian. Why would Hawaiian. It a oh, it's a Hawaiian. Oh, sorry. Beverage. Okay. Bloke. Bloke got it wrong again. Anyhow, so it's, it's called a what? Again. It's, it's called a what? Again. What's it called? Hawaiian. 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 Okay, we're gonna have Hawaiian. Hawaiian. So I'm gonna yeah, make that in a minute. Where, where are you off to the gym, ain't you? Ah, uh, we're gonna eat something real quick. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, anyhow, we're gonna make that now, and I think I'm gonna have my cameraman, ain't I? Camera woman. Cameraman. 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 All right. Okay. Well, let's get let's get going at that. So we got Joe over there, Ryan's girlfriend, hey. cooking away. Right. What are you making? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese in a pan, and you're doing. What's Ryan doing? Can I see that camera? Hang on. Can no, hang on. Let me. I have to zoom out. Hang on. It's okay. burning. Hang on. You gotta give me the camera. It's okay. Super there you important. go. Right. It's burning. Okay. Okay, there ladies and gents. Right. So we got my girlfriend over here. Oh, it's actually burning. She went to the George Foreman grill and she flipped what was inside. Yeah. You guys realize it's two heating elements. <laughs> it, it made absolutely <laughs> no sense, <laughs> and it was. Really funny, so you know she's ridiculous, but you yeah. Know. <laughs> so hang on, yeah. Hello, I'm back again. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So they're cooking because they're going off to the gym, so they're having a snack now, and they're going to have pizza when they come back. Yeah. True. Gonna have pizza. Ah, that's fucking hot. That's hot. So, what about you then, love? Oh, you're okay. You're on the wine, ain't you? Yeah. You don't care. You don't care. Look at these couple of morons over here. Anyhow, look. That's what gets going in my house, all right? It's like nuts over it, absolutely nuts. Uh, I don't know, I think I might need another beer actually after this. And then I'm gonna get back to making those pizzas because my kitchen's been taken over, yeah? What you doing? Well, I've got the dough here, look. Right, yeah. it's all like doughy. It, the dough is doughy. Now you gotta use lots of flour <laughs> and I'm rolling it out. Yeah. On a board here. Oh, your arm's annoying. I've got some flour on it. Yeah. And I'm trying to get it as thin as I can. And then I'm going to stretch it onto that tray, which you'll see in a minute. All right. Onto the either one doesn't matter. Yeah. Cool. I don't know how to do that flipping around thing. Don't do it. You'll end up ruining our ceiling. It's, 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 it's nice and clean right now, but I've no idea. So <laughs> we're sort of nearly we're nearly there. We want to make it as thin as we possibly can. Yeah. You like thin crust. So it's so like thin crust. So. Sort of nearly there. Right on. And I'm going to put it in that tray mm -hmm. and I'll show you in a minute. Okay. okay. Cool. So I roll it out on the tray on a lot of flour and then what I do is I put it in a baking tray. Now these, these trays, mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of olive oil on them so it doesn't stick and you put it in the middle and then you just keep turning it around. Look, I'm pushing it to the edge. Yeah. On these pizza trays. The olive oil will crisp the bottom too which yeah. is nice. Well, you know when it's done, if you've got the olive oil, when you yeah. put it in the oven, you, what you do, we use this, I use this flipper, I don't know what the other one is, but this one. The metal one? And you just flip it up and have a look. If it all sort of doesn't fold over, you know yeah, it's crisp. Yeah, of course, crisp, it'll be crunchy, you can, yeah. You can see the brown bit underneath, so yeah. that's sort of how we do it. But that's how you push it into the tray, mm -hmm. and that's quite a good pizza. So, anyhow, I'll get the other one done, and I'll show you in a minute, all right? Cool. Nice one. You guys know what time it is? Okay. Right, there you go. Um, it's been in about 
So yeah. 400 for about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. About 400. What I do is have a look just to see underneath. Oh, yep. Yeah. Because it's very thin crust. Oh, it is white as a ghost. No, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet, no. So we've got to put it back in for a little bit more. Mm hmm. And uh, wait. Yeah. There you go. So we'll have a little wait in a minute and then we'll have another look. Cool, man. There you go, tubes. That's the old pizza. Look, she's nice and, uh, let me show you. Nice and toasted underneath. Look, All right? It's going to cut her up. Yeah. Well, try to. Hang on. It's bloody hot. I know. Ow. It's really hot. Shall right? you invest in some, uh, I don't know, I've got gloves? a pizza cutter here. Oh, that's hot. Here, it's really, 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 really hot. No, anyhow, listen, I'm going to cut that up. Where are you? I'm gonna cut that up, and uh, you and your uh, girlfriend are gonna have the first one, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we got the uh, the other ones in there. Look, we got the other Hawaiian in there, All right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna make a couple hand. more, I think. And uh, that's probably gonna be it. So anyhow, that's tea for tonight. So I will talk to you lot tomorrow. Bye bye.